Okay, let's revisit this idea of intermittent fasting and the benefits specific to intermittent fasting. As I mentioned in an earlier video, they are numerous and amazing. So thing number one, decreased weight. Specific to the abdominal region of the body, your midsection girth. That's benefit number one. Benefit number two, um, kind of spilling out of that, would be improvements in cardiovascular health overall. So measured by decreases in blood pressure, also um, increases in heart rate variability. So what do we mean by that? Heart rate variability is what happens when you are trained um, for endurance type events. So highly trained, trained athletes like Lance Armstrong have resting heart rates in say the 30s or the 40s, which means that their heart at rest has to pump um, less often because it's more efficient in pumping the same amount of blood as the rest of us um, in, in the resting periods. And then of course, when they're training and riding their bike uphill, you know, it's a, they're able to draw from this, um, this massive muscle that is their heart. So that tends to correlate with um, overall better cardiovascular health. Number three, improve glucose regulation and stabilization in the body. Obviously a type two diabetic um, benefits from such. Anyone who's insulin resistant also benefits. I mean, that's to more or less what type two diabetes is, is this progression from insulin resistance, but maybe not as obviously someone whose HPA axis is thrown off by a chronic PTSD kind of situation, chronic stress levels. Um, basically you're exposed to high levels of cortisol that in turn are dumping glucose into the blood um, with increased regularity, which as I mentioned earlier, glucose is a sticky molecule and sticks to everything and therefore wreaks havoc if it persists in the blood for too long. So improving the stabilization of your glucose likely to benefit um, someone whose HPA axis is thrown off. Number four, en enhanced neuronal health. My favorite molecule, not molecule factor, comes into play. Um, BDNF is increased through intermittent fasting, um, which in turn has other benefits, improvements in memory and cognition and motor function of the neurons, as well as neuroprotection, meaning your nerve cells are more protected in situations like Alzheimer's disease, Huntington's disease, Parkinson's disease, anything that degenerates neurons is gonna benefit from intermittent fasting. Number five, decreased cancer risk um, for certain kinds of cancers. Number six, increased lifespan. Some of the original studies had rats live 30% longer when they were intermittently fasted as opposed to the rest of the rat populations. Number seven, selective mobilization of fatty acids and lipid metabolism. So if your lipid panels are looking poor, um, this is one way to help re-regulate them and get the numbers back to where we like to see them. Number eight, improvements in GI health overall. So just as we rest the body by sleep, um, we rest the gut by fasting. Um, so tremendous benefit there. If you'd like more information, um, I'm gonna link to a couple of sites that will be useful resources for you. So Dr. Michael Mosley, who I mentioned earlier, is out of the UK and has a website on that's more or less based on his book, The Fast 5-2 Diet. And on it are tools where you can plug in your specifics and it will give you kind of um, basically the, the calories you ought to consume on your fasting days. Um, since in his case, it's not a true water fast for the entire time, you're able to consume a small number of calories around the neighborhood of five to 600, depending on your weight and height and sex. Um, so check that out. And additionally, there's a Swedish, Swedish trainer in, of all places, Sweden, named uh, Dr. Mart, he's not a doctor, Martin Burhan, who has trained um, people in the fitness industry and uses intermittent fasting and has for a while and swears by it and says it, it actually leads to better results with bulking and um, looking at the, of course, the fat, um, percent fat, body fat, etc. So check out his website. And then additionally, I will link to the Diane Rehm podcast um, that came out earlier this month. And um, you can listen to that if you so wish, where 
she interviewed uh, Dr. Michael Mosley, Dr. Mark Matson, and uh, Dr. Walter Longo, all of which who have done a lot, have something to do with this intermittent fasting world and research being done in it. So check that out. And as always, thumbs up, greatly appreciated. Subscribe, etc. Share. We'll chat next time.